Hello, welcome to video tutorial how to load ASCII data in ClickView. In this video, we have taken the survey data as an example. In our survey, we have seven questions. This is the questionnaire of the study that we are going to take an as, as an example. The response ID is being stored in column 1 to 5. We will see columns in a later stage in this training. The first question is the gender question where we are recording the gender of the respondent. Code 1 stands for male and code 2 stands for female. The second is the age question where the respondent will be entering his age in the text box. The next question is an overall satisfaction question with a 5 point rating scale question. So the, the data will be 5 point rating scale stored in columns 15 so in the same way we have five questions here with all the five questions are reading cell questions the data stored will be in this format it's a dot txt format each line is a record each character is treated as a column so response ID is being stored in five columns so column 1 to 5 is my response ID when I go to column 10 this is gender when I go to column 12 and 13 this actual age of the respondent column 15 stores question 1 which has 5 point rating scale question so you will have quotes from 1 to 5 column 17 column 17 is the second question column 19 is third question column 21 is fourth question column 23 is the fifth question to better understand I have taken few records in a PPT file and divided them using lines so that it can better visualize each of the fields so this is the response ID this is the gender of the respondent this is age this is question 1 question 2 question 3 question 4 and question 5 question S1 is equal to gender question S2 equal to age and the five questions are from the survey from the survey which stand for question one equal to overall satisfaction question two equal to purchase intention question three is future visit question four is recommendation question five is differentiation now let's see how do we load this flat ASCII data into click view for further analysis go to click view open a new document go to script editor add a tab for your convenience let's name it as ASCII data now just see that you have the relative paths option selected there click on tables files button and browse for the data file in this case the data file is data.txt just select it click on open select the fixed record here and then click on finish you will get a script in click view which takes the entire line as a field we need to divide this into subfields where column 1 to 5 is our respiratory as response ID column 10 as gender
column 12 13 as age column 15 as question 1 column 17 as question 2 column 19 as question 3 column 21 as question 4 the last question column 23 as question 5 please make sure that you don't add comma add for the last field because it will again mark that there is another field to be added as is the last field we should not add any comma here let's give it give a table a name as key data now we will reload the data by clicking on reload button save the file let's save it as as key dot qvw the re data reload has been done you can add the fields in this case you can add the response id so this is your response id which comes from column 1 to 5 then we can add gender question this is our gender this is our gender data where 1 stands for male and 2 stands for female then we have the age this is actual age of the respondent then we can add all the survey questions question 1 Question 2 Question 3 Question 4 Sorry, we I think we have taken all the columns here So we have to correct question 4 yes it should be 21 save it again reload then add another question question 5 to better understand we will add a table box in this so that it can actually show how the data was stored in the flat ASCII file add a new table box the first field which comes from column 1 to 5 then gender from column 10 age from column 12 13 question 1 from question column 15 question 2 from column 17 question 3 from column 19 question 4 from column 21 and question 5 from column 23 so this is how the data was present in the flat ASCII file and we have loaded this into click view for further analysis this ends the tutorial how to load flat ASCII data file in click view thank you